The South African Medical Research Council has been working to support COVID-19 research and develop a rapid response to the virus. For more on that response, as well as the importance of tracing and treatment, we're joined now via Skype by Professor Jeffrey Mpahlele, who's the Vice President for the Research at the Medical Research Council. A very good evening to you, and thank you so much for speaking to us, Mr Mpahlele. I want to, uh, seeing that we were talking about Africa, you say you are learning more not only about the natural history of COVID-19, but uh, how it's affected Africa because it's very different from the Northern Hemisphere. Tell us why. Because um, we believe that uh, the virus may behave differently uh, in different settings. So what we have seen in other countries may not necessarily be the case uh, in South Africa or in the African setting. So it is important to do research uh, to investigate how the virus uh, will uh, behave in our setting, uh, given that uh, we have got a different uh, population and um, a different uh, high-risk uh, population as well. Mm -hmm. So that's part of the reason why we are interested in doing research. Mm. Uh, can you just perhaps go down to the minutia when you say a different population? What exactly are you referring to here? Genealogy, age, etc. What are you refer referring to? Um, I'm actually referring to the high risk um, uh, groups. Uh, you probably know by now that um, uh, the information that we have learned from other countries uh, have indicated that uh, individuals uh, who have got uh, chronic conditions are at high risk. And we do have these individuals, uh, but we also have um, our own challenges in terms of uh, burden of disease. Um, we have got a uh, high burden of uh, HIV and TB, and uh, we have got high burden uh, of non-communicable diseases, including uh, uh, persons with uh, cardiovascular um, uh, underlying conditions. So clearly we don't know how COVID will affect um, uh, these uh, persons uh, if they are affected. Mm. So let's go to the research and uh, development that you've had so far. Uh, the Alex cases that have been tracked to Limpopo. Uh, how important is this just in terms of obviously we, um, there's been a comparison of studies in terms of high density populations and the exponential growth in positive cases? Okay, I guess uh, the case uh, that um, we, 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 we know from, um, from Alexander Township um, is actually um, telling us that um, we need to strengthen our tracking and, um, and tracing, uh, because uh, this is uh, what needs to be uh, done uh, to make sure that uh, we are able to uh, trace all uh, people who have got um, uh, contact uh, with infected uh, individuals. So you asked earlier um, what kind of research we are doing uh, to try and help with um, mm. the, the tracking and the tracing. Um, and, and indeed, uh, we are funding research uh, that will be able to uh, give us um, uh, solutions uh, in terms of, uh, you know, uh, community tracking and tracing. Uh, it's not going to be easy uh, in all the settings, as you can imagine, uh, that uh, we also have uh, informal settlements uh, in South Africa. Um, so a, a very good scenario is actually a case in Alexander Township. Uh, if uh, we have got more of these cases uh, in the township, will it be able? Will we be able to track and trace all these cases? Mm -hmm. uh, at the moment, we hope so, uh, but uh, it's not going to go without any challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to so talk about the uh, people who are most vulnerable that you mentioned earlier on, those with pre-existing cases, such as HIV, TB, pregnant women. But because this is uh, respiratory diseases, the health department has also mentioned smokers. Tell us why this is significant. Uh, smoking is significant because uh, smokers, especially heavy smokers, um, the, eventually, if you're a heavy smoker, um, you have got a uh, problem with uh, lung conditions uh, because uh, this is a respiratory uh, infection. Uh, um, it will, uh, in severe and critical cases, affect the lungs. And uh, if you are a heavy smoker, obviously, uh, this will be a big problem. 
And uh, it has been shown in China that um, uh, in men, uh, they tend to experience higher mortality. Mm. And um, one of the explanation was that most probably is because men smoke uh, more than women. Uh, that's why you experience higher mortality. But uh, generally, smoking is being discouraged, uh, as you have heard uh, from WHO and uh, also from uh, the Department of Health. Uh, because uh, if you are a heavy smoker, certainly this will put you at risk uh, for acquiring uh, COVID infection. So you've also said that there is uh, uh, an urgent need to describe the epidemiological or epidemiology of COVID-19 in South Africa, as well as addressing the diagnostic and therapeutic host of viral factors. Expand a little bit more on this. Uh, in terms of epidemiology, it's important uh, that uh, we understand the risk factors uh, for acquiring this infection in our own setting. Um, and uh, so that we can design uh, locally relevant uh, public health measures. Uh, so when we talk about epidemiology, uh, we talk about understanding people who are at high risk. Uh, those that we are concerned about uh, may not necessarily be the only uh, groups that are high risk, uh, are at high risk, uh, I beg your pardon. So by doing surveillance, uh, we will be able to uh, identify additional groups uh, that are at higher risk uh, for acquiring infection. So that's the importance of epidemiology. Uh, but um, it is also important uh, that epidemiology uh, will provide us with solutions uh, in terms of public health measures. Uh, because if we don't understand the extent of the problem, uh, we won't be able to uh, provide um, appropriate public health measure. Mm. Uh, and it goes with uh, detection of the virus, uh, that uh, at the moment, uh, the detection uh, is literally uh, based on people who have got symptomatic infection. And, uh, and, 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 and you know, the method methodology that is being used uh, is to look for active infection uh, in, in the sample. Uh, and, and we don't know uh, those who might have been exposed mm. and not necessarily presenting with symptoms, the so-called asymptomatic cases, uh, we don't know the extent of the problem in this uh, group. Mm. Uh, and, and we know that they are there. Uh, so, uh, and, and the danger is that uh, it does not necessarily mean that if you are asymptomatic, uh, you are not uh, passing the virus to those who are uh, vulnerable. So you can be asymptomatic and still continue to shed the virus. Okay, so thank all these uh, are important in terms of epidemiology. All right, thank you very much. Uh, that there's Professor Jeffrey Impasele.